Watch this. Oh! <laughs> well, I don't know how that's done. Stick around to the end, I'll show you. That did not hurt at all. Well, all right, on this video, I'm gonna show you three really cool magic tricks with some safety pins. Come on, let's go. Here's the first one, watch. If you rub the pins together, look. You can get it to actually link on there. It's really on there. Now, that's the easy part. The hardest part is to get it to unlink. This next one's really cool. You can actually let them link it theirself. That way they know you're not cheating, okay? It's really on there. And all you do when you're ready to get them to come apart, you go like that. This last one is probably my favorite of them all. See how the match is actually behind it right there? Right there on top, watch. It goes right through there. Let me show you again. See how it's behind there? It goes right through there. Pretty cool, huh? Well, all right, so you wanna learn how this is done? Make sure your friends aren't around. Come on, let's go. Well, all right, welcome back. It is time for some safety pin magic. Who would ever think, right? Now, these are really easy, simple to do. Uh, just use precaution, because uh, these are really sharp, okay? So you can actually um, maybe scrape them on some concrete just to dull them out, because they do not have to be sharp at all. Uh, the first thing I did was um, like the safety pin, making it go right into the other one. Now, what you have to do is you actually have to sa take the safety pin and I'm gonna keep bending it down like this, okay? Because it's actually a spring right here, okay? Now you bend it down like this a lot, and you see you can actually get it to form and come up, and you wanna line it almost to where it would actually go in right there, see? And I'm gonna leave it out a little bit like this, okay? And that's gonna be, I, I guess, uh, the secret of getting it on there. So. You have it like this. Doesn't that look good? But see, it's really not in there. It's just behind there, right here. You see? All right. So what I do uh, is uh, you come out like this. Um, you can actually just hold it like this if you want to. That's probably the best thing to do while you clip this one on, okay? Now, there's all kinds of ways to do this. Um, I just like coming over like this, doing it first. And then you just start rubbing. You see, you can come across I'm already in there, but you, it's hard to tell. You can rub like this, and there it is, it's on there. Now, a lot of people are gonna think you just threw um, the safety pin on top, but that's why I'm grabbing it like this now, and I turn it over and show you like this, okay? All right, so you turn it back over, make sure it's out, it just went in there actually, but you rub like this, okay? And when I did that, I just went ahead and did it really quick, but I came back to the middle, okay? Let me show you this way. I rub a little bit and pull it out, come back and rub some more, okay? Now it's really out already, but if you look at it like this, you can't really tell. It still looks like it's linked on there. And that's when the magic really happens. It even, it looks weird from the back. It looks like it was really on there. So all you're doing, let me show you again, is you come around really fast, put it on there and you rub, and then you let it go, okay? Then I grab right here so I can turn it over and just hit it a few times, okay? Turn it back over and then you can actually come out. I put it back into the middle, give it a little rub, and then you just pull off like that. Now here is the bigger safety pins. Uh, you could actually do it with those if you wanted to, but since I already had that one bent a little bit, um, I wanted to keep it like that, but I wanted to actually show you what was going on with these, okay? So these are real safety pins. They're just, they're heavy duty. Um, I guess you can get these at any type of fabric store would have something like this, okay? So they're both the same, okay? This one's actually fouled down a little bit, so it's not too sharp. I need to do that one a little bit more. Now what happens is, it, this is really, it's really weird, it just does it itself. But what happens is, see this triangle right there? 
you have to make sure that's pointing up. This one's going to go in there with also the triangle pointing up. Then I clip it on there, okay? I grab both ends. I don't know if it'll work slow, but what's happening is it's really, it's weird. It just unclips and clips back. Cause it, like I said, cause of the spring right there, okay? So I'll show you again. Make sure this is pointing up. See how that's pointing up? So this one also has to be pointing up. It goes into the safety pin. Then you latch it, pull them together. Then you just yank really quick and it'll come right off like that. Let me see, let me try to do it slow. See what, what actually happens. You can't really, well, I guess that was kind of slow, but it just, like I said, it unclips and then it clips back on. It's really weird. So try it out. All right, this is probably one of my favorite out of all of them. Uh, you're actually using a match, okay? But what you do is cut the head of the match off. Uh, that way it doesn't give it away. Now I'm gonna leave it on there so you can actually see what happens. There's already a hole there. Just be careful putting it in there. You put it in there like this, okay? Now what you're gonna do is I'm just pulling towards the camera, okay? And it's, it's kind of like a spring. So that's gonna flip around really quick and appear like that, okay? But it's gonna happen so fast, you're not gonna see it, okay? So that's why I got the red, uh, the match up there so you can actually see what happens. So it's gonna end up like this, okay? So watch, here we go. You see? Ain't that cool? You cannot even see it. I can't even see it right here. That's how close I am. So I'm just gonna pull really hard and that springs it, makes it like a spring and it's gonna flick it all the way around like that, okay? So it looks like it's actually going through that safety pin, watch. You see? Sometimes it doesn't work as good. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? Looks like it goes right through there. It's crazy. You just keep doing that all day if you're bored in the house. All right, the last final thing is a shish kebab thingy. I guess you call it, yeah, shish kebab where you put onions and a steak or chicken or whatever on it. Um, all you do is you make you a little loop like this. I did this with some vice grips. Um, you can bend it. That way your tongue fits around it like that, you see? Now it's all part of the acting, okay? So I just, I pull out my tongue like this. My fingers are covering this piece here, okay? Pull my tongue out and I go, Ugh. yeah, and I really, of course, not pushing it up there, but Ugh. Ugh. okay, and then I can feel it when it gets up to my tongue. I'm gonna stick my tongue out further, like this, put it in there like that, and then I just move it around like that. And then there's different ways you can um, get it out. Is uh, just spit it out like that would be one way or take off running would be another way or uh, wait, what else could you do just pull it out like that and just cover it like that and uh, get rid of it so that's a real cool little thing to do um, especially if you're going to a grill out, grill out this summer uh, it'd be fun well all right there you go some really easy tricks to do with some safety pins um, just remember to use caution because they are sharp. I did poke my fingers a few times. Practice, practice, practice. The most important part. Uh, I try to be funny, so you don't have to be funny. You can be serious when you when you hook them paper clips together. Anything you want. You make it your own magic. That's what magic is all about. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're new here. Uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to help you. So thanks a lot. I'll see you soon.